all right guys so welcome to this video and today we're gonna learn how to create a remarketing display network only campaign in Google AdWords so let's go into Google AdWords now assuming that you are already logged into your Google AdWords account and once you are clicking on this campaigns tab right on this left hand side somewhere down you will be able to see the shared library just click on this shared library and then click on audiences so it will give you a couple of options over here for your audiences you create your audiences so basically audiences is known as remarketing list so it's one in the same if you say remarketing list or you say audiences it is one in the same so as you see you will be able to create a remarketing list over here so for the time being you get four particular options first is website visitors mobile app users YouTube users and customer emails so right now we only gonna deal with this option which is website visitors so I click on this setup remarketing and it will give me this option right over here and this would say use dynamic ads now if we just move over cursor over here it would say that show dynamic ads to previous site visitors related to products and services they view on your site so basically how it works is instead of creating ads for each of your products and services within your ad group you will be creating a feed with this items and select ad layouts so what will happen is adwords then matches what people viewed on your site to items in your feed showing ads with the same or related products and services all right so basically what happens is let's suppose you have 10 particular advertisement within your ad group so you would be creating 10 different advertisement or 10 different uh, remarketing campaigns for all those advertisements so you don't have to create 10 different layouts what you do is you create one particular feed with this items and select ad layouts so AdWords by themselves matches what people has viewed on your site to the items which is there inside your feed all right so after matching this it will show the ads with the same or related products and services so this is basically using dynamic ads for the time being we won't be creating any feed for the demonstration purpose we'll just go ahead and set up remarketing so now over here it would be asking you to tag your site all right so basically what is tagging your site is you put a piece of code into your site which is given by google adwords so once you paste those paste that piece of code inside your website which is given by google adwords that will automatically track all your activity on your website and it would link to this list over here inside your adwords so basically it's tagging your website all right so now if you go over here then I will click on this view AdWords tag for websites so this particular thing the entire thing which is there over here is your piece of code your remarketing tag so if you see on the top it says Google code for remarketing tag so what you need to do is there are two ways first if you have some knowledge of coding then you need to paste this particular code inside your website before this body tag before this body tag you will be pasting that code so let me show you inside one of my website let me just log into my website so this website is particularly created inside wordpress so right now i am logging inside my wordpress website let me just enter the capture click continue and now it should ask me to log in inside my wordpress panel all right so there i go let me re-enter my password uh oh oops Okay. 
it i guess there is some problem with the password it's not allowing me some problem with the wordpress right now i guess all right now it's getting connected now it's getting connected all right so we are in we are in so let it just load all right there you go so right now i'm into my wordpress dashboard all right so now once i'm into my dashboard i'll go to my appearance and click on editor so this is basically specifically for wordpress website if you have your own website you will have to go inside a section which I am going to show you right now. So inside my WordPress theme appearance and editor, I would have a section for header.php. So I click on this header.php. And then I will select this entire code, copy that code and now over here it says add this code to all your web pages right before the body tag all right right before this ending body tag so guys what you need to do is it's not for the header.php only for each and every page where you want to have your remarketing being done you will have to copy this tag before each and every body tag all right so you have to paste between each and every body tag before body tag so this would be something like this one so let's suppose this is one particular page and let me search for the body tag so if i search for a particular body tag let me scroll down this is head and should be somewhere around here so this is header the control f function is not working right now it out all right so the find is not all right so let me search for body all right so there you go that is the body and yeah so there you go that is the body so you'll have to paste somewhere in between this body tag and your ending body tag all right so this is how you paste your code and if you don't have any knowledge about it then what you need to do is regarding your um, instruction I mean your instruction should be sent to a person who needs to do this programming you might have your programmer so you will have to send your instructions via email so just enter your enter any email right now so let me put my email address over here and reply to is optional and i'll put a note please enter this code that's it and over here if you read this out to use your Google Analytics tag instead of AdWords remarketing tag, you need to have Google Analytics edit permission. So this is something which you need to do within Google Analytics. So right now we won't be covering that Google Analytics. So let's just hit continue and let's say return to audiences. So now you will be able to see this particular pop-up over here which says we haven't detected the AdWords tag on your website or in your app. So basically now once this tag is installed on your website only then and then this would be getting dismissed. Alright. 
so you'll have to wait until your tag is being installed or pasted in your website so now let's suppose assuming it has all been done we'll click on this remarketing tab which is red in color with a plus sign I'll click on this I'll click on website visitors all right so now this will open up this file and it would say remarketing list name so let's suppose I will say remarketing and you will get a couple of options over here who to add to your list so let's suppose visitors of a page so what does this mean is if someone has visited a particular page that is let's suppose I select this option and if I put a value of this particular option you will get this much values over here so your rule says that URL equals to uh, let's suppose my website so if a visitor is visiting this perfect URL so that is URL equals to if the visitor has visited this particular page then I would be remarketing my advertisement to all those visitors who has visited my website so this is basically what you need mean by visitors of a page now let's suppose if I select visitors of a page who did not visit another page so what does that, that mean is if you click on this people who visited a page with any of the following so let's suppose I click on rule I'll say URL equals to and let's suppose I have one of my so this basically works when you are trying to collect some leads or trying to get some sales so if you have some let's suppose for lead generation you might be having some subscription form like this one so let it load all right so you might be having some form like this one and let's suppose a visitor is on this particular page of my website and if he clicks on this and due to XYZ reason he didn't enter his information over here and he just exited the page all right so what I'll do is I would be retargeting him retargeting all those visitors who have visited my website which is this and has not entered my information I mean their information over here and they might not have landed onto the next page so what I'll say over here is I want to target people who has visited my website for this and they haven't visited my another page which is the next page after they fill in the form that is thanks for subscription uh oh I guess uh, there should be something like thank you Or let me just put in a dummy file dummy information and say anything and say the same email address all right so now this is thank you all right so now I will enter over here I'll select rule and I'll say URL equals to and I'll say thank you page so what this means is I would be targeting all those people who have visited my landing page but they have not visited my thank you page I would be targeting all those people alright so that is basically the second option so similarly you can just go through these options they are all similar so this third option would be visitors of a page who have also visited another page so if we select this option in that case what will happen is visitor who has visited this page and this page both of the page I would be targeting only those visitors all right then you have during specific dates and specific tag so basically 
this is the option which most of the people use because they want to convert their visitors into customers or a basically a lead so people who have visited a particular page that is a landing page but haven't visited your thank you page you want to target all those customers all right now over here member membership duration is so how many people how many uh, i mean what, what would be the duration of the visitor who i have visited this page what kind of duration you want to target so let's suppose if i keep 30 days so what that means is people in the last 30 days all those visitors during the last 30 days who have visited this particular page but have not visited this page i would be targeting only those people so that would be your membership duration all right so this could be a maximum of 180 days you cannot go further by 180 this could be a maximum of 180 days now you can put some description over here which is optional so i'll just keep it as remarketing list so this is just for your reference purpose so now i'll click on save and that's it your remarketing list is generated all right so there you go this remarketing list which you recently created has now been created but it is under updation it is under updation now over here it says unavailable display only all right so now as you have created your remarketing list now you will be creating one campaign so if i click on campaign i'll click on this campaign and display network only so we'll now create one new campaign which will be targeting only this particular list which is the remarketing list so i would say remarketing campaign and I'll scroll down and now I want this people to take action on my website so basically what this options mean is if you are an e-commerce business then you can select this buy on your website alright or you can take an example like this one which is take an action on your website so basically most of the people would be opting in this option and if you are in e-commerce and want your people to get converted into a sale or buy something on your website you can go for this option as well all right then let's suppose if you are someone who are expecting some calls then you can go for call your business because that would be your conversion all right so depending on your business goals you will have to select one of the driving action over here so now let's suppose for this demonstration I'll take take an action on your website I'll scroll down I'll select India as my location English as the language which I want to target I would select my um, bidding option as manual clicks I would say advanced options uh, alright let's just keep it uh, focus on clicks let's just keep it focus on clicks I'll say my budget as 500 rupees per day and I will go down and click on save you can always uh, I mean uh, save all those other settings as well but let's just create one campaign right now because we are basically focusing on remarketing campaign so you can always change all those settings according to your needs so yeah one thing which i would like to mention on that part would be uh, all right i'll not go back but i will just mention that uh, you can also schedule your advertisement according to a specific time if you go down at the bottom of the previous page you will be able to select some timings and that would be basically for all those people who select call for your business all right because they might be expecting calls during a specific particular time during the day they might not expect some calls at 3 a.m all right so while you are sleeping you wouldn't be expecting any calls so if you are showing your ads at 3 a.m as well and you would be losing money on that and you won't be converting so basically if you are such kind of business when you are expecting some calls and you have driving action as call for your business then you should schedule your advertisement as per the time of your business 
Now over here, I will say ad group as remarketing ad. Remarketing ad group. I'll say my maximum CPC bid as 10. And I'll select this interest and remarketing. Second option because now we will be selecting our remarketing list. So if I go inside uh, select and category, so if I go in uh, interests and remarketing, remarketing list, and right at the bottom, I would be able to see my remarketing list over here. All right, so right now it's under updating because the tag has not been installed so it will be updating but i'll select this remarketing list over here so it will give me impressions on weekly basis i'll scroll down and i'll say save and continue now i'll just create one quick ad and it would be anything like just to make you aware about the process So once you create your ad, you say done and you say save ads. And that's it. So you go to your campaign. And that would be it. So now your campaign would be live. That is remarketing ad group campaign. And if you just click on this ad group, then you will be able to see your ads. So now this ad is under review. And over here, the campaign type is display network only. Campaign subtype is drive action. All right. So now once you are over here, you can click on display network. So this tab would basically show all your uh, traffic and remarketing campaign infographics and everything. But this would only work once you have installed your tracking pixel inside your uh, website. So right now it won't be giving me any uh, data. Right now it won't be giving me any data. But once your tag has been installed and once your advertisement goes live and once you create some audiences, so basically you have visitors on your website, then automatically this campaign would be retargeting those people who are visiting your advertisement or, or your landing page, but they are not uh, getting converted on your thank you page. So then this data would be populated over here and you would be able to see all those things. All right, so this was basically creating a remarketing display campaign within Google AdWords. Hope you had some insights and thank you for joining guys. Thank you for watching this video. Stay awesome as always and see you. Take care. Bye-bye.